One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video. What's up everyone, it's uh, Tom Dizzo here. Uh, I hope you guys had a great weekend, also a great trading week this week. Uh, coming into today, we just had a you know uh, a weekend mentoring sessions uh, as every other week, and you know it's been great. Uh, there's are uh, really uh, some of uh, you know uh, I like interesting questions uh, from the members, and uh, so if you haven't checked it out yet, you know go back and read them. Um, uh, today, I mean, uh, I think I'm gonna keep it really short and sweet today because you know first of all I'm not feeling very well, but uh, scenes. I really want just you know to kind of make a video for you guys so that you can have a new material coming into every week uh, you know for you guys to you know have something to study right uh, I'm, I'm sure that you know some of you might have watched all the you know MIC uh, uh, videos so uh, you kind of want to have a new material coming every week so uh, we're just trying to do our best uh, so yeah so uh, today's topic is gonna be how and when to adjust your line and this is one of the you know this is the type of the questions that i've been getting for a lot from from you guys from 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 the members and uh, you know to know when and how to kind of you know uh kind of readjust your line right uh because a lot of times you know when to start kind of tang uh and if you sticking into your original line uh, you might never be able to get filled right and you know it happens a lot and we have to kind of readjust it along the way uh, so I just want to kind of address that uh, questions today and to to go a little bit more details into some of the examples so I'm gonna bring the chart up Hang on one sec yeah guys so this is like a typical uh, every day, right? I mean, MIC process, uh, we kind of short the broken stocks basically. And we wait for the top to set first and then we short back the bounce, right? So, you know, that's pretty kind of simple and, you know, v very straightforward. And uh, I would say, uh, so VTVT, uh, there was a runner on Friday, it went, uh, from 2 to 6.5 This is basically the front side of the move, right? Uh, as, as 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 a short seller, you don't want to be anticipating this move on the way up So totally avoid that the moment cracks here, right? It went 6.5 to 5 now We know the top is set or you know, you could say the top is temporary set. So What are the lines that we are looking for to short in? Uh, so first of all of course 6.5 that's gonna be our line right that's basically that's the outer line which I want to get my short into and you know into this 6.5 line and stop over that you know 6.6 6.7 whatever you want to you know to kind of risk off but uh, the idea the thesis behind it is that uh, the moment it breaks this uh, pre-market high we just want to get out right we don't want like our thesis is no longer valid so so 6.5 uh, so let's say the stock kind of hovering around this five area. So this is the one line I'm interested in six whole and half dollar mark, right? Pretty straightforward five, right? So the moment the stock kind of at five, we, we want to scale into those lines 5.5 and six. Okay. The current price actions, let's say we are here right now. Okay. And we don't know anything about you know the right so let's say the price action is right here so now we want to be shorting into that 5.5 and 6 line and you know maybe the top maybe the max uh, 6.5 stop over that three bullets right and also you know pre-market is not something that we should uh, you know we recommend but uh you know sizing according uh, you know you have to kind of size in accordingly based on your, your account and kind of risk management that's all uh, so on that, 
and so uh, um, the the stock is let's say the price is at 5.2 right we, we, so those are the lines I'm, I'm in I'm kind of interested in as the times goes by right and let's say you're not gonna trade in pre-market you want to see how the chart form first in the, in the pre-market and then you're gonna have a plan for the open right let's say that okay and as the times goes by okay this is 5.56 those are the three lines i was drawing you know in, in the pre-market right basically that i would like to kind of scale into but as the times goes by and near the open stock crack this support you know like let's say you know put it uh really kind of easy forward uh, straightforward for you guys to see five five point five six 6.5 right those are the three lines that originally was my plan into scaling when the stock was at five dollar right but the moment the stock kind of cracked this five dollar kind of line right broke the major support and now near the open the stock is let's say you know this one the stock is sitting like right here right 413 so how to kind of you know how do you know that you have to readjust your line and you have to kind of lower your line a little bit based on that so based on you know basically the chart has been telling you this hey guys my name is tosh bradley i'm one of the head mentors and monitors at my investing club if you have any questions about getting started in trading getting started in mic mic in general text me at 213-458-5997 this is not a robot it is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club we also have special promotions going on that i can get to you depending on your trading needs hit me up back to the video this line right support becomes resistance okay just that simple line to line that's all i mean originally i have six uh i i, I have 5.5 6 and 6.5 right yes you know i could still use that line for the open but you can see how far are those right first i want for the stock to get to this line first which is the critical kind of line the support line becomes a resistance now right this is should be the line that I have to kind of readjust instead of shorting all the way into that 5.5 line right because the current price now is at 4 413 let's say at 4 let's say like that right so you like you would like to be scaling into like you know some kind of logical line to be able to kind of get filled right I mean technically there's nothing wrong with that if you want to short at 5.5 6 and 6.5 hour line right I mean that's fine that's totally fine but based on my kind of experience I mean if a stock kind of tanked to 4 broke this major support the moment it reclaim and it gets back to 6 do I really want to take a short up here or not usually I don't right based on my experience based on the, based on the tape I mean if the stock got saved from all the way from four to six I wouldn't be shorting it anymore right so it's really based on the price action the current kind of price of from, from the stock and it it needs to kind of conform to the line right and the only way for us to kind of know that is the moment it kind of broke that major support it should not reclaim back okay this is the healthy bounce see crack this one healthy you know bounce back into that 5.5 crack here the moment it cracks this line this is becomes a you know a resistance the stock should not be reclaiming this support anymore right if it did then likely the trend has been changed or like trend has been reversed and you don't want to be shorting after that into 6 or 6.5 that's you know basically my approach on how to kind of readjust my line based on the price action based on the information that the stock is being giving me right in the moment it cracked this i want to be shorting back into this resistance 
five and you know 4.5 uh, maybe this even you know this line even 4.37 and you know 4.4 and you see where the stock kind of you know bounce back to that and fails right because support becomes resistance those are the lines right and the only way for the stock to kind of continue to fade is to have a healthy bounce it needs to kind of test the support and test back the resistance support becomes resistance and it should reject that for my thesis you know to be valid right so that's why we've been a you know readjusting our lines uh and you know like you guys been seeing me about alex uh, do that a lot and it's just you know really straightforward uh, you know this is the support and once it's broken once it's and you know broken we short back into that support basically that's resistance right i mean there's nothing wrong with five you know or six or six point five or five point five here but it's just way too far right and if you start reclaim back to that point likely it's gonna squeeze okay guys so that's how you want to kind of approach to to the lines but if the stock is still hovering around this one right of course i don't want to be you know if the stock is still at five and hovering around here of course i don't want to be slamming in and you know shorting a five right that's no not a logical way of course i would want to have 5.5 and 6 right that's because those are the resistance but the moment crack this support you have to kind of readjust your line in order to get filled right i mean that's just makes sense because the stock is at four bucks and you have a fantasy out all the way to six, 6.5. I mean, <laughs> okay, uh, you really want to get that, you know, those uh, kind of uh, bullets get filled in the first place, right? And if you're scaling from all the way, you know, let's say five, 5.5, six, you know, 6.5, the last, once the last bullet hit, right, you are in a panic mode anyway. All right, guys, so I hope it's uh, helpful and, uh, if you still have any questions uh, regarding uh, how to draw lines or how to readjust, uh, you know, your lines in, in your trading, uh, let me know. DM me anytime and I'll be, you know, happy to help. So, all right, guys. So have a wonderful the rest of the day or, you know, uh, have a good weekend. And uh, I see you guys on the next one. Take care. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.